Whatever you're doing guys, safety first. YouTube. So it's uh, it's a Sunday, and it's not raining. It's very misty though. Look at that. It's very very misty. Um, but there's a little job I want to do on the car. Something that's been bugging me since I've owned the car. And basically, let me show you what I mean. It is this. Now, it's obviously had a little bit of damage there. But what seems to have happened? It's behind it, there's a, a plastic bracket, and that bracket's broke, so what I'm going to try and do, I know I can't fix that, that's going to have to be rubbed down, fettled and sprayed, I'm going to see if I can get this to seat a bit better, because that there keeps popping out, as you can see, and it's basically because the bracket's broken. Um, so, I'm going to have a look, I'm going to take the wheel off. Um, don't need to to get that bracket off, but I want to have a good look and I'll try and take you through it as much as I can So let's get some tools So one of the first jobs I'm going to do because I want to jack it up oh, in the eye, Is um, put it on the driveway um, as you can see at the moment the driveways are a tad full so I'm going to move the boy's car. Now, this is my son's MR2. It's, um, I think, 1976, something like that. Had a lot of work spent on it. Uh, so I had an engine swap for a three litre, um, as you can see from the V6 badge, and quad exhaust and everything else. So, this usually wakes him up because he's so protective of it, he doesn't like anybody touching it. Um, RX8 seats, yeah, so, this will be the first start-up. Oh my god! <laughs> it's even lower than mine. And I'm just going to move it out of the way. Um, so there you go. That's what it looks like inside. It's got a nice Kenwood head uh, system in there. Which I really like. It'll probably blast as soon as I turn the ignition on. And um, It's got T-tops as well. Which are quite nice. Quite a nice car. Um, it's actually very solid. It's going to have the seals replaced soon because they're just starting to go. Um, it's flagged up on the MOT that um, there's quite a bit of surface rust on them, so we're going to get those replaced. Um, but in all, it's not a bad motor at all, to be honest. It's done him, done him proud. Right, let's uh, let's just switch that on. I've got no idea. Oh, he's got got a dash cam. I've got no idea what this Kenwood's going to do, and I've got, to be honest, no idea. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> I've to turn it down. So. That's what an MR2 V6 sounds like. <laughs> right, let's get it moved. Well, to be honest, I've got a way of moving it. He's not turned up yet. So let's get the, the S3 on the drive, get it jacked up, get the wheel off, and then uh, I'll take you through what I'm gonna do. Might be successful, it might not be, but hey, you're joining me for the ride, whatever. Okay, so we've got the car jacked up. Um, as usual with cars that are quite low, it's always a challenge. And uh, the wheel is off. Um, top tip, top tip. Um, I used to teach martial arts many years ago, I used to own a club, and if you're ever doing any work on cars, these mats, these jigsaw mats, um, you can get them on eBay second hand, that's probably the best because they'll miss tabs like that, and that's why I got rid of these. Um, when the tabs break off, um, students can get their toes caught in the holes that they leave, so what we used to do is basically throw them away. But, for doing your car work, they love the padded. There you go, lovely and padded, and they're great to either sit or work on. So, top tip, get yourself some of these. Much better than damaging your knees nearly on the floor. So, um, behind there is where I'm getting to. Um, I'm not sure how much of this you can see. I've got uh, got big light on. 
uh, Peter Kay there. Um, so behind this scuttle panel here is the bracket I need to get to. Um, do yourself a favour while you're under, and while you've got your car jacked up, have a little inspection. Um, just a quick look around, make sure you know, like oil leaks, you haven't got any of those, bushes all look okay. Obviously you can see your bushes. Brake pads obviously, um, look at the mine, they're half worn at the moment I guess. So it's also a good time just to have a quick look under and uh, yeah, just make sure that give everything a bit of a wiggle and uh, yeah, there's nothing coming adrift because it's not very often you get to this sort of level unless you're taking your wheels off every week and I'm guessing most people don't. So right, let's get this panel off and I'll try and get you as close as I can into the bracket so you can actually see what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to achieve today. Okay, so I've got most of the plastic cairning off there. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but um, whatever you're doing, guys, safety first. I know we joke about it, health and safety, and nobody likes it half the time, but there is a purpose behind it. Always get your axle stands underneath your car, no matter what you're doing, because I've seen so many accidents working the garage trade years ago, people losing fingertips or getting trapped under cars. Anyway, so we've got the, the LED light there, uh, the big light shining on there and hopefully you can see what's going on. So basically, if we were taking the bumper off, there is a bolt right just there, you can see right in the middle, uh, which is a 10 mil bolt and that drops the front of the bumper and that enables you to take it all the way off, um, which I showed on the Mrs. car um, a few weeks ago when I repaired the bumper. But uh, for this bracket, you've actually got some self tapping type screws there and you have got some screws there and I've got a feeling just looking at this and trying to work it out um, I may need to drop the bumper forward at least I'm not sure at the moment so I'm going to um, take the self tappers out just there and basically see where it stands. Um, I might be able to get the plastic bracket out, but it's hidden a little bit in there. But let me get those screws out first, and let's see what's uh, what's what. Okay, so this is the bracket I'm trying to replace. Like that. It's just a plastic bracket that um, basically everything clips into, holds everything in place. And to be honest, it looks like somebody's done a bit of a hack job on this. So I'm guessing that plastic bracket is broke at some point. Um, because all that's supposed to clip into it and supposed to keep it quite strong um, but it's gone there is nothing there um, so it was good I bought one because all we had was a show you here a, a kind of metal budget up bracket hold it all together which would explain why it wasn't sitting properly um, like I say obviously there is some damage to the bumper and what I'll do is heat that up and straighten it out and, and get it sorted but I want to make sure it's secure first of all so I'm now going to have to try and work out how this bracket goes I believe it is something something like that yeah it probably doesn't show very well on camera but I think there's two screw holes up there I think it sits oop, not easy to do with a camera in one hand it sits up there somewhere clips all in place and then basically everything slots into it. So I think what I might do is simply drop that bolt at the back, take the bumper forward a bit and there's three screws under the bonnet as well. Take those out and um, see where we go from there because I need a bit of space to see what I'm doing I think. All right, catch you in a minute. So as I said, just gonna drop the bumper off. There are one, two, three screws there. I call them screws, but they are, I guess you call them, well, I call them star drives, whether that's the right thing to say, I don't know. Um, but what I've got, which has always been very, very handy, is this kit here. Um, TS five-sided and star screwdriver set. And what is brilliant about it, is you can stick that in there like that. And if you've got ones with the holes in, you've got those as well. The, uh, the handle goes on like that, that goes in like that, and crack, you got a nice little screwdriver attachment, which makes it really easy to get the things out. So I'm going to drop these three screws out, I'm going to take that 10mm out, 
and then bring the bumper forward and catch you in a minute. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere. So, looking at it, um, I've got the bracket in place. Let me get some more light on this so you can see it properly. That doesn't really help, does it? So, basically, there's a screw that sits under there. I'm not sure how good you can see that. And it all sits in place, and then this slots into it. So I've dropped the bumper forward a little bit, not taken it off, but just dropped it a little bit, just to get access to it. So we'll get that bracket on, put it back and see what happens. There we go, the bracket is on. You can probably see it a little bit better now. Um, the bracket is in there, you've got top bit there, bottom bit there, that screws in. Two screws in the bottom to hold it all together, and of course that 10mm right at the back there to hold the front of the bumper on. But it's certainly, it's, uh, it looks a lot more in line now. Um, that bit still is a bit of a pain. Uh, that seems to want to pop out all the time. Um, but I've tightened it up, so hopefully it'll hold itself. But certainly, yeah, this joint here is a, is a lot, lot better now. Um, put a bit of heat on that, and that should hopefully mould itself back to where it's supposed to be, because there seems to be a little indent there where it's been scratched. And then uh, I'm going to get the front bumper all sprayed up anyway, or sprayed up at some point so yeah job well done yeah, much better than the bodge that was there already but uh, there you go <laughs> something to do on a sunday afternoon hope uh, hope it's been slightly informative and anybody that's got this same problem uh, understands now what holds it together again if you've taken the bumper off there's um there's two 10 mils like that on both sides these brackets and i would say undo those screws, loosen them off before you pull the bumper out because that does attach them via clips as well. Um, loads of clips along the bottom which you'll see when you jack the car up and get underneath. Those three on top and the whole bumper will come off. It's not a big job to be honest. It's not bad at all. So uh, there you go. That's, that's another thing sorted that uh, again was bugging me. I wanted to get it, uh, get it looking better and I think I've done that. So uh, excellent. There you go. More stuff to come.